today we've come to Highgate Cemetery, one of the earliest private garden cemeteries in all of England. And just walking in, it is absolutely gorgeous here. Not only is it a massive, beautiful looking cemetery, but there are a lot of really interesting people buried here. So today we're gonna look for some of the most famous people that are buried here in this London cemetery and just explore it and see what we can find. And we're joined by our friends, Jason and Josh. They have a channel called JJ Extra. And I think this is a really fun thing to do because this is our first time in England. And you know, this is our first time here, but I think this is also your first time yeah. checking yeah. the cemetery yeah. out yeah. too, so. And the weather is setting out. It is, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> interesting. This is the grave of Elizabeth Jackson. She's the first person buried in Highgate Cemetery. So she was buried here in 1839. We found the grave for Charles Croft, founder of the famous dog show. Although the information booklet says that his wife says he preferred cats. I don't think it would be as creepy if it didn't have the like the vines hanging did you guys read that this place is supposed to be very haunted also reputedly very haunted, yeah yeah which and a cemetery like isn't that every cemetery mm. well, i feel like they say that though but i always feel like once you've passed, why would you want to haunt somewhere that didn't mean anything to you in life? But then, exactly. yeah. like you've just seen in that one, the old tour guide. Yeah, there is a tour guide who is buried here. He was a tour guide for here. Oh, so instead of a family tomb, this is just a collection of people. And one of them was a tour guide for here. Angel. So maybe... Maybe he's, he's still doing tours. Yeah, he might still be doing a tour. I'm not charging. I'm not charging now. Or is it colder in here because it's haunted? That's possible. That is possible. <laughs> it is quite chilly in this section, though. like there's a section down here that's all closed off. This whole section has a lot of uneven paths and I think that's part of why up until recently you couldn't actually just tour this on your own. It was a guided tour and so just being able to walk around you could see sections that you wouldn't necessarily be able to see before because they weren't part of the tour. Possibly the most famous person buried here, at least to me, uh, the one I came to see is George Michael, who um, is a was previously a private unmarked grave. They have since put a headstone for both him and his sister, who are both um, in unmarked headstones with their mother. Um, but unfortunately, they, you, you're not allowed to photograph it. But it is here. It is right off of a main path, and you don't have to wander around the uneven paths like we did to find it. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't go through this gate because it says private grave owners only, but the actor Bob Hoskins, his headstone is right through there. You can see it um, behind those, it looks like it's a little bush or something planted there. Probably one of his most famous roles is in as Eddie, Eddie, Valiant. Eddie Valiant in Roger Rabbit. Jeremy just happens to be wearing his Roger Rabbit shirt today. Yeah, didn't even he was here. <laughs> this is the grave of Alexander Litvinenko. This is the former Russian spy who was granted asylum in Britain and then later poisoned with palladium. Something that you were reading, I think, in the little booklet that they gave us is that they actually created this cemetery as a tourist attraction? Yeah, so it said not only were they created as a place to bury the dead, but they were intended to be tourist attractions right from the very beginning. And, and here we are today. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, we, we fell for it. It is interesting though that despite 
being a tourist attraction that there are so many um, sections that are you know private and you know even with like George Michael his grave being unmarked it's just it's interesting that that it's intended as a tourist attraction and yet many of the the people resting here don't want to be part of that tourist attraction. That's the classic tourist attraction though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's fair. We want you to fair. come and visit and pay to visit, but we don't want you to see everything. Yeah, <laughs> that's excellent point. So we checked out most of the west end, and now we're going to go over to the east side of the cemetery. We've come across the road to Highgate East, which definitely has a different vibe to it than the other side. There are still a lot of trees, but it is, does feel much more open. There's a lot more newer plots. I think this one opened in the 1850s, so it is still quite old, but it just definitely feels like more recently people have been buried here. It is interesting because I don't know if it's the weather, if it's because it's less foggy over here, or just that it's different, but it's it's like less dark and ominous it's over here. Different yeah, it's not, like, as, yeah. not as spooky. It's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the most notable person buried in Highgate East is Karl Marx right here. There are a lot of flowers down there. I was reading online that uh, Karl Marx and his wife were buried here initially, but that in the 1950s they were exhumed and placed in this more prominent spot with this uh, bigger, more elaborate memorial, which is kind of interesting. It is right on the path. Karl Marx was originally out in the middle here. Karl Marx being one of the essentially founding fathers of communism, it's interesting that there do seem to be a lot of other um, communist graves that are marked that way here. Each side of the cemetery has this little map and it shows you notable people. Some are less notable than others. They really are. <laughs> <laughs> like Anne Crisp. And it literally just says, had a faithful dog, Emperor. <laughs> I mean, maybe Anne Crisp's grave is notable because it, it is unusual. Her faithful dog emperor. I don't know what that means. The grave over there, Malcolm McLaren, he was the manager of the New York Dolls and the Sex Pistols. Interesting. So I'm assuming that's why there were drumsticks on his grave. And I think he was also a clothes designer. Yeah. He was managing the New York Dolls first and then he actually recruited Johnny Rotten to be the frontman of the Sex Pistols. So interesting. Yeah. This person right over here is Jeremy Beadle. He is. Which doesn't mean anything to me as an American. No, he was a British TV presenter that used to present programs like Beadle's About and You've Been Framed and stuff. Which is kind of like you have like home movies, like yeah. funny home oh, movies. Oh, uh huh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh okay. So, yeah. So oh. It's that you've Been Framed was our version of Funniest Home Videos. Oh, neat. Okay, cool. Right here is. Douglas Adams' grave, the author of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is one that I was really interested in seeing while we were here. Looks like he's got a whole collection of pens and pencils for writing. When we first got here, and I learned that the Highgate West, the first side, was started in the 1830s, I thought that seemed pretty new for England, but I didn't realize or, or think about the fact that up until that point, a lot of people were mostly buried in uh, churchyards and it was in that time frame that they started getting overcrowded and started creating privatized cemeteries so that they can also become tourist attractions. Well that was really neat. I think we were kind of on the fence initially about because you have to pay to do both sides or you can just pay for one side and I think that Highgate West was a little bit more unique and interesting so I'm yeah, glad we paid for both. Especially since it's a newer thing that you can just roam around on your own. Yeah. Which I think makes it creepier. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> well that was a lovely day. Very good. Make sure you guys go check out Jason and Josh's channel, JJ Extra. Sadly this is the, the end of our time together. End of the road. Yeah. End of the road. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you go check out their channel. 
thank you to our patrons. We appreciate your support and we love you guys. And we've got a whole lot more coming up, so keep watching and we'll see you really soon.